play your game. I'm excited, man. I can't wait to get back on this field, man. It feels like I only played really a game and a half, really. So I'm happy, you know, just to get the opportunity to get back on the field and I'll give it all I got. How tough for sitting out the last two? Not real tough, you know. Just just not being there to play and you know watching my guys go out there and you know put their you know their blood, sweat, and tears in, you know, and I shared those the same blood, sweat, and tears with them on the practice field. So you know, it, 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 it's hard, but you know it's part of the game. Make sure they're ready to go for Chris, you've um, had a sort of a tumultuous last 10 days, and I'm just curious what you can tell us about what happened last week and, and whether that affected whether you were whether you would play on Friday night. Uh, I'm not, I, I don't want to speak on that. You know, if there's anything else about playing on the field, practice, games, anything like that, I'm, I'm more than welcome to, you know, to answer that. But anything else... I'm not really worried, you know, I'm not trying to answer those questions. You okay mentally, though? I mean, that's a tough thing yeah, to go through. Time. I mean, I think that, uh, yeah, I'm okay mentally. You know, used to be Are you okay physically? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you look pretty fresh out there, like leading the group in sprints and stuff. You feel like you can take this offense to another level? <laughs> well, I mean, I've been out, I've been out for two weeks, so I ain't got no choice but to be fresh. But, um, I mean, I, I, honestly, you know, if you guys have ever seen us, you know, run i'm always trying to lead you know lead the pack you know these guys out here they're young and you know they're out there running and i just want to make sure that you know i'm out in the front you know pushing myself and uh if there's ever a day honestly like today where it was a bit hot and i was already gassed i wanted to make sure i push myself to stay in the front so uh, you know, little things like that is, you know, I think, I think, me personally, it's going to help me, you know, get over the the hump when I get in the game when you know the bullets are flying and you know people are tired. Would you say, Chris, there's a different aerobic requirement for this league versus down south? There's more running up here for receivers. I mean, yeah, it's definitely more running. You know, you got the waggle. Um, you know, the field's bigger, the field's larger, so you know, it's definitely more running. Um, but as a receiver, period, you just have to be able to run. You always have to be ready, to, you know, in condition, you know, to be able to run and uh, catch those those deep balls, those short routes, and you know, take it deep, you know, or, or jump over somebody, you know, spin past somebody, anything. But that's just a receiver's job. So, you know, anything that, you, like I said, anytime, anytime you see us out there as a group of receivers running, that's the reason why. It sounds like you're expecting to play on Thursday. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm ready. To, I'm ready. Um, but you know, ultimately, that's not up to me. You know, that's up to the coaches, and, and uh, I think internally, it's up to me. You know, to show them that I am ready uh, on, on the field. Uh, you know, decision-wise, it's on me. Chris, uh, you said only a game and a half. What do you want to bring to this offense? I want to bring everything. I want. I want. I want to. I want to. I want to pick the level up. Um, I want. I want to. I want to play. I want to. I want to be the. You know, to, to be that missing piece that you know that we. You know that they need. You know to to, to keep on going because we're already. You know, pretty good on offense. Uh, I just feel like you know, me personally, I can make it better. Uh, it's not in no selfish way or anything like that. It's just how I feel about myself and my gameplay. So you know, once you know, once we all get on the field together, you'll you'll, you'll see, you'll know why. Uh, you'll know why. You know, Lucky is out there. You know, able to run past people and, and uh, break 60 yarders on on screen routes and and, and reverses. And, you know, short passes and stuff like that because you know all of us is out there blocking for each other and and, and I'm part of that. You know, I want, I'm a part of that. That's my brother. So if he's if he has a ball in his hand, I'm going to block for him and and help him spring open and get free. And hopefully he can do the same for do the same thing for me. What have been some of the challenges to sort of integrating into this offense? I know it's early, obviously. We'll say that again. <laughs> You're obviously make, expecting to make a big impact in coming back, and you still can. But what have been some of the challenges in the first couple of games? It just health wise, you feel like you haven't been able to be at maybe at the top of the level, or maybe not enough balls coming your way? Or well, I mean, yeah, it's you know, it's just, it's just, you know, it's just the, the unfortunate freak injuries. You know, those are the only things that's been keeping me off the field is the unfortunate freak injuries. Um, those are things that I, you know, that I can't keep, you know, I can't have control over. Um, you know, that's in God's hand. Um, you know, I, I know that it's been a rough start for my, you know, for the first half. I mean, for the first part of the season, um, and it's even it's even been tough on me. But you know, I believe in God. You know, He has a reason for it. Um, you know, He never puts anything in my way that I can't handle. So, you know, if it's there, He knows that I'm gonna get over it. And I, should, I, I, I will say that you should guys should know that too as well, because I'm here still. Um, 
Yeah, yeah man, that's 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 the biggest thing right there is you know just believing in God and and making sure you know I stay I stay true to the to the process like Coach says. You feel like there's lots of time to still make that impact in the last 12 games, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's that's a regular season game right there. For, you know, if you're coming out of college, you know, that's a regular season game. So, um, yeah, I'm not worried about how many more games we got. I don't care if it was just one game. You know, if I'm, if I'm going out there and they're, and they're throwing me the ball or not throwing me the ball and I got a block, then that's just what it is. I'm going to go out there and do it just because that's who I am. Chris, why did you choose Winnipeg? Because it wasn't like you went to the highest bidder necessarily. <laughs> That's why. That's why I chose Winnipeg. My guy right there. Yeah. Um, Darren Cameron is a difference. How could that be? Listen, listen, man. The man has a plan. <laughs> the man has a plan. No. Um. This is home. It's home for me. Um, I definitely, you know, I know this is going towards, you know, the tail end of my career, and you know, I want to make a name for myself, you know, somewhere where, you know, they love me, um, and uh, and I love them. So. That's, that's ultimately what it was. I mean, it didn't have anything to do with the money or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm not just not to say that the money isn't good, but that's not what it was for. It was definitely about building a legacy. You know, I just had a one year old, so it's it's all about you know setting up and uh, you know getting my kids ready. Do you sort of pick the kind of guarantee of being on the CFL roster over potentially going to an NFL camp? No, no, not at all. Marcus, awesome. thanks. Thanks.